Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So Windows 11 24 H2 is now available, and so many users have the question with the Rufus that will still be able to bypass the hardware requirement to install Windows 11 24 H2 or any other version. So basically, when Windows 11 was being released, they added some extra hardware requirement like high processor with the TPM and the secure boot enable, which many old devices failed to match. And their Rufus created a way to easily bypass these kind of requirement. So far, it worked absolutely fine, but many users recently reported that it's not able to bypass the Windows 11 24H2 requirement. But the Rufus developer had promised the in place upgrade workaround registry tweak was integrated into the Rufus at a file in version 4.6 beta. And you can see here, this is a kind of a registry file that has been added in the media creation tool of the Rufus that will be helping you to bypass all the hardware requirement check. So right now I'm on Windows 10 and if I bring up the PC health checker and click on check now. So you can see I'm getting the message here. This PC doesn't currently meet the Windows 11 system requirement. Now this message can show you different kind of error like TPM not supported, secure boot not supported, uh, your processor not supported. So the message can be different and even you can see that I'm using the 4 gigabyte of RAM. So basically according to the Microsoft, I will not be able to upgrade to Windows 11 any version. But here comes the Rufus that will be helping me to bypass this and install Windows 11. Now, if you don't know enough about the Rufu, then it's a magical tool that helps us to create a bootable USB for any kind of operating system like Linux, for Mac, for Windows 7, Windows 10, and especially for Windows 11, where it gives you many magical options that we will be discussing in this video. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. Okay, so now in order to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 24H2, first you will have to bring up any of your browser and you need to download the ISO of Windows 11 latest version. So type Windows 11 ISO download in the search and then you need to click on the first website download Windows 11 and here on the top it says current release Windows 11 2024 update version 24H2. Now here if you scroll down you get Windows 11 installation assistant that you can download in order to upgrade but probably that will not be working on the unsupported hardware. Similarly with the create windows 11 installation media. So you have to download the windows 11 disk image. So click on the drop down here and choose windows 11 multi edition. Click on download now. Choose the product language. Click on confirm. Click on 64 bit download and the downloading of this Windows 11 24 H2 ISO will be started and it's around 5.4 gigabyte which is comparatively uh, less than Windows 11 23 H2. Okay so now you have to wait until the downloading is being completed and once it get downloaded now you need to open a new tab and look for Rufus hit the enter key and here click on the first link Rufus create bootable USB. So this is how the tool looks like. So you need to scroll down a bit. Under the download, you have to click on Rufus 4.6.exe. And in the date section, you can see that it has recently been updated. So click on the first link. And it's a small file, so it will be quickly downloaded. So click on the downloaded file. Click on yes. And then you will be getting this kind of dashboard here. Okay, so now you need to connect your USB that you want to make bootable USB. And it should be at least of 8 gigabyte in space and you should not have any data inside it because everything will be wiped out. Alright, so let me connect my pen drive here, my USB. And as soon as you connect your USB, it will be automatically detected here on the top side. In case if it doesn't show up here, you have to click on the drop down and choose the right USB that you want to make a bootable USB of Windows 11 24H2. Once selected, under the boot selection, it asks you that where exactly you have the ISO that you want to convert into a bootable USB. So click on select from the right hand side and locate to the place where you have downloaded the Windows 11 24H2 ISO. Select the ISO, click on open. Image option, you have to keep this to standard Windows installation only. 
you don't have to go with any other option partition scheme gpt or the target system ufi now this will depend on your system and in order to find this what you can do click on your windows search type system and click on system information from the suggestion and here you have to look for the bios mode here it is so my bios mode is uefi so what i have to do you have to make sure the target system has been selected to uefi and for the uefi you have to go with the gpt partition scheme but if you find the bios mode legacy here then you need to click on the target system and you have to choose the legacy and change the partition scheme to the mbr okay but for the uefi this is okay the volume label you can change it if you want to like i will type here win 11 24 h2 and that's it now you have to click on the start and here the magical page comes up where we can do a lot of things we can change a lot of things here so it says customize windows installation and on the very top it says remove the requirement for 4 gigabyte plus ram secure boot and the tpm so if you are also using this bootable usb on a unsupported hardware then you have to make sure you check this option remove the requirement for 4 gigabyte plus ram secure boot and the tpm 2.0 next it says remove the requirement for an online microsoft account now another important feature guys basically when you go with the windows 11 installation in between you get an option to uh, sign in with your microsoft account to enjoy all the product of the microsoft and basically this is the most annoying option that majority of the people don't want because they do not get any option to continue with the local account okay so that's really not good for many people even not for me but with the help of Rufus, you can go ahead and bypass this Microsoft account option and it will not be asking you to create any Microsoft account or to sign in and it will automatically create a local account using the third option here that says create a local account with the username. So whatever user account name you want, you just need to type here like I will type CGeek. And you have to remember this while we will be installing uh, you will find that it will show me this local account next it says set regional update to the same value as this user along with the disable data collection escape privacy question now if you have noticed that while installing windows 11 it gives you tons of a screen asking for the permission to enable or disable it but Rufus will be helping you to disable all these privacy pages and you will not be getting these pages while installing Windows 11. So again a very useful feature that you need to check here. And so you can also disable the BitLocker automatic device encryption that is basically enabled on the 24H2. So keep all these options checked and then you have to click on OK. Alright now it says that if you have any data inside it everything will be wiped out so make sure that if you have an important data you take the data back up first and then proceed with the step and Rufus will now start creating a bootable usb for you now in case while creating the bootable usb using the Rufus, if you have any kind of problem or getting any kind of error then make sure that you disable your entire virus for a while and once the bootable usb is being created using the Rufus, you can go ahead and re-enable it back Okay, so now on my end, I'm not having any problem, but if you face any problem, click on your Windows search, type virus in the search, and from the suggestion, you have to click on virus and threat protection, click on manage setting here, and disable the real-time cloud delivered automatic sample submission and the tamper protection. Once disabled, again, go ahead and try creating a bootable USB with the Rufus following the same method, and you will not be having any kind of error now. And once a bootable USB get created, you can re-enable all the security back. Okay, so now let's wait until the bootable USB is being created. And then we will see how basically you have to install it and how exactly it perform while installing the Windows 11 24H2 on the unsupported hardware. All right, so finally the USB has been created here. Now if I click on close and if I bring up the file explorer here and go to this PC, so now here you can see that we have Windows 11 24H2 bootable USB ready and inside it 
all the Windows 11 installation files are being added. All right, now next what you have to do, you need to boot uh, your device with this particular bootable USB. So if you want to install uh, Windows 11 on the same computer, then you can keep plugged in. But if you want to install Windows 11 on any other device, then you need to plug in this USB to that particular device. So connect the USB, restart the computer, and then you have to use the BIOS key in order to boot with this particular USB. Like if you are on a HP machine, HP laptop, then you can use the F9 key from the keyboard. And from here, you can choose your USB to boot with that particular USB. So select it, hit the enter key. And very soon you will find the Windows 11 logo. So wait until it appear with the next screen. And the very first screen that you will be getting will be related to the language setting. So choose your desired language, time and currency format and click on next. Choose the keyboard setting, click on next. Now it asks you select option, install Windows 11 or repair my PC. So basically that's a new option of Windows 11 24H2. In case if you want to repair it, then you can go with the repair option. I want to install Windows 11. I will select I agree. Keep the selected install Windows 11 and click on next. If you have the product key, then you can enter over here or you can simply click I don't have a product key. Select image. So now whichever edition you want to install like Windows 11 Home, Education or the Windows 11 Pro, you need to select it and click on next. Click on accept. All right, now here it will show you different kind of partitions. This is a very important screen where you have to be very careful. If you want to make a fresh install of Windows 11, then you can go ahead and delete all the partition. But if you don't want to lose your data and want to keep both Windows 10 and Windows 11, then you can install the Windows 11 on any other partition and due to which the Windows 10 will be still existing on the another partition and you will not be losing any of your data. But I highly recommend you that take the data back first and go with a fresh installation. All right, so I have already taken the data backup. Now what I will be doing, I will delete all the partition here. And in case if you are also deleting it, then make sure that you do not delete the USB partition. The one it says disk one, that is the USB, that is the bootable USB that we have connected. All right, you can identify by the name and through the size. So make sure that you do not erase it, you do not delete it or you do not format it. Rest, you can go ahead and delete the partition if you want. And once you have deleted the partition, now you can choose the unallocated space where you want to install Windows 11. In case if you want to have the multiple partition, then you can click here on create partition and give the size here. So let's say I want another partition here. And that should be around of 25 gigabytes. So I will type somewhere 26,000 and click on apply and bingo. So now you can see we have another partition here of around 25.4 gigabyte. Okay. But I will be installing Windows 11 on this one that has the maximum space and click on next. And finally, you will be getting the preview page ready to install. Install Windows 11 Pro. Keep nothing. Click on install. And installation of Windows 11 will now be started. Now once installation will be completed and it will be configuring, you will find that it will not be giving you any kind of privacy pages, asking different kind of options. And even it will not show you the Microsoft account page asking you to log in with Microsoft account. So let's see until it's all been done. So hopefully guys you notice that after the installation it did not ask you any kind of information like uh, creating a Microsoft account or asking for any kind of permission enabling or disabling the privacy option everything has been bypassed and now it took you to the configuration page and I'm very sure next screen that we would be able to see will be the desktop of Windows 11 24H2. All right, and here we go. So now you can see finally we have upgraded to Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware using the Rufus, bypassing all kind of requirement, bypassing the Microsoft account, and even bypassing many kind of unwanted screen that we get during the installation. So now let me verify it. If I type Windows version, that is WinWare, 
in the search and click on winver run command so here you can see this is version 24h2 os build 26100 all right so everything seems to be working perfectly all right so now you are good to go and enjoy your windows 11 24h2 on unsupported hardware with the help of the rufus now in case after restarting the computer guys if you get this kind of a screen where it asks you to change the password in the password section you don't have to type anything but in the new password and confirm password you have to type your desired password for the local account of your computer once you are done click on the arrow icon and now you are good to go so that's all guys for today hopefully now you know that how exactly the rufos work and how important this is on installation and for many other purposes and if you found the information useful guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye